Hi, welcome to St Anne's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be giving you a short cooking demo on how to make a vegan chocolate fudge cake. Uh, this cake is extremely easy to make. It's great for making at home. Um, it's great for adults, it's great for kids. It's beautiful served cold and it's also great served hot. Give it a li little bit more finesse to impress your friends at a dinner party. Um, so this cake is made in two stages. We've got the sponge and we have the icing. If you're using it cold, if you're using it hot, that icing we can turn into a hot sauce, but we'll talk about that later. So ingredients for the sponge, we've got 200 grams of caster sugar, 200 grams of self-raising flour, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, we have 240 mils of water. We have six tablespoons of oil. Here I'm, use, I'm using uh, pomace olive oil, but you can use any uh, vegetable oil, extra virgin olive oil or an extra virgin kind of any oil will probably be too uh, strong a flavor. But so I've got pomace olive oil. Um, we have a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. That might sound like a strange ingredient, but that's gonna have a chemical reaction with the flour. It's gonna help, the, that's gonna make the cake rise, make it nice and light, otherwise it'll be very dense. And we're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla essence. As for the sponge, so begin by taking a bowl, First of all, before you mix it, um, let's, first of all, let's preheat an oven to 180 degrees. So, 200 grams of self-raising flour into the bowl, 200 grams of caster sugar into the bowl, three tablespoons of cocoa powder into the bowl, 240 ml of water, pull that straight into the bowl, six tablespoons of oil in the bowl, white wine vinegar, all in the bowl, can it be simpler, everything in at the same time. And about, I'm going to do this by I mean, what about a teaspoon, if you've got a teaspoon, a teaspoon of vanilla. Now, take with a whisk, incorporate that, give that a great, good mess, whisk. You want it nice and smooth. I should say also, it's important to make sure you sieve your flour and your cocoa powder. You want to remove any lumps through the sieving process and it will also help bring a bit of air into the cake. And you don't want to find white lumps of flour when you're cutting through the cake after it's cooked. Nobody wants to chew in their lumps of flour. Okay, so. Nice smooth batter. With the batter, we're going to put that into a tin or a tray or a mold. Um, something you want to cook the cake in. I've got this. This is a silicon mold. You're just a standard kind of cake, cake tin size. It's perfect. So it, this is silicon, so I don't need to grease it. So it's going to pop out quite easy. You're using a metal or a ceramic. Uh, container. You want to give that a good grease, get some um, vegan butter oil all the way around the outside. Okay, so the batter, pour that batter straight into the cake mix, cake tin. If you miss any steps of the ingredients, you 
be able to find the recipe on our St. Anne's Kitchen Instagram site. Okay, lovely. So, that's our cake, that's our sponge. We're gonna put that in the oven that we've preheated to 180 degrees. And we're gonna cook that for 40 minutes, four zero. So in that goes. When it's cooked, you should be able to stick a knife into the center of this. When you pull it out, the blade should be, appear completely clean. Um, all ovens are slightly different, whether they have fans, some do, don't have fans. Uh, 180 degrees, 40 minutes approximately. You can check it, check it after half an hour, 35 minutes, just to see um, if yours is cooked a bit quicker than our oven here. So while that's in the oven, we'll prepare the icing. So we have in here 125 grams of icing sugar. I've got one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder. And in this little dish here, I have a tablespoon of uh, melted vegan butter alternative or a spread. So I'm gonna combine all of these into a bowl. A little whisk. In goes my butter. And then with that, we're going to put uh, approximately a tablespoon of hot water. Mix it together. Doesn't take a lot of liquid to dissolve that icing sugar and bring the cocoa powder into it to create a nice paste. Get all around the edges, stir it all in. Do not make a mess like me on the table. beautiful glossy icing that we can spread over our cake. A bit closer to the camera, can you see? Yeah. So that's ready for us to spread over the cake. When the cake comes out of the oven and it's cooked and the knife comes out of the cake clean, you know it's cooked, we need to leave it in the tin for approximately 10 minutes just on the side and room temperature and we're going to let the cake rest and cool down, let it, let it relax and then one, after 10 minutes, carefully because it'll still be hot, take it out, stick it onto a wire rack to rest, let the air get beneath it. Now to serve it cold, once the cake is cool, we'll take the icing and we'll spray it over the cake. And we'll have something looking like this. So we've got the cake, spread that icing all over the top, and I've just served that with a few um, poached pears which work nicely with chocolate. And they're also seasonal. Impressive friends. Dinner party post lockdown. We can serve it warm. So this is just a slice of the cake, reheat it, in the oven on 160 degrees, a slice of cake on its own for about five minutes. And then with the icing in a little pan, heat it up until it's melted and it's hot, pour it over the top. And again, I was served us with some mini poached pears. But you can get creative, serve, serve yours however you like and have a lot of fun. That's what cooking is all about. Um, Please tag us in your creations 
Tag our Saint Anne's Kitchen um, Instagram. Thank you very much. Enjoy.